discuss about various discrete random variable and the corresponding probability mass function and how we define distribution of the observed value of a random variable that pattern what you observe uh, in the uh, discrete random variable that how that value of random variable is uh, varying or observing we are observing so that perspective we will discuss in detail so here we will discuss a few specific kind of uh, discrete random variable First, I would like to discuss about uh, Bernoulli random variable. That one is the simplest random variable. It is just taking two value only. Either it will take zero or one or minus one or one. Depends upon your approach, what you are willing to uh, call it uh, so failure or success. Simply, you can say that. So there are only, uh, with respect to each random experiment, there would be only two possible trials, uh, two possible outcome. Either it would be failure or it would be success. So that situation is coming. Okay. Then we will discuss about binomial random variable. It is just what uh, it is coming down one outcome of simply what we call it. It, it. it is generalization of Bernoulli random variable in sense that if you are having n number of Bernoulli trials, then uh, if you count uh, total number of success, then uh, at the same time uh, we will get uh, total number of failure as well. So binomial two situation is there. That means uh, the complete observation would be classified into two categories one success another failure in two group so that situation we observe that means uh, binomial situation we are observing and then in that case uh, we can come up with a random variable of binomial nature and that the probability of success or number of, uh, count of success that we can talk about with the help of that uh, these, those observed value of the binomial random variable would have a distribution and that distribution we will call it a binomial distribution so that we will see it Afterward, we will discuss in detail about the geometric random variable that uh, we will see some uh, specification of, of uh, further uh, one discrete kind of random variable that happens to be geometric random variable. That means simply if we talk about it, it is talking about uh, uh, number of trials uh, till first success. So you have to keep on tossing a coin till you will get a head or head. If suppose generally people are calling it head as a success, then uh, you can say that you have to keep on tossing and keep on counting the number of toss or number of trials. So, so that would uh, distributed in a geometric fashion that we will see it will have a probability mass function which would be geometric in nature, geometric progression that we will see it here. So, coming to first part that Bernoulli random variable, how we define it. So, in order to define Bernoulli random variable, just a simplest one that we have to deal with uh, tossing a coin. Then that happens to be simplest example to discuss about Bernoulli random variable. So, what is happening that in this case, so we consider a toss of a toss of a coin, and then if you, we are performing tossing of a coin, then either head will come up or tail will come up. So, generally we associate probability of success with the head. So, that probability of getting a head that we will call it probability of success and generally we denote it by P. So, if P is probability of getting a head that means probability of success then 1 minus P would be probability of failure or probability of getting tail. So, that situation is completely characterized as tossing a coin. Okay. Now, once we are having a coin toss then we can define a random variable generally we are calling it Bernoulli random variable so this Bernoulli random variable it would take uh, value 1 or 0 depends upon whether uh, uh, outcome is head if outcome is, is head then we will get uh, value of uh, random variable would be 1 if uh, outcome is tail then value of random variable is 0 so this uh, mapping uh, is already described it here you can say that this mapping it is a mapping from sample space of uh, tossing a coin uh, to r and it is taking two value when omega is head then it will take uh, uh, one and when omega is uh, tail then x will take value zero so this is the uh, ultimate mathematical definition of uh, Bernoulli random variable so if you are having Bernoulli random variable then we have to talk about uh, probability of each value of the each observed value of the this Bernoulli random variable. So here we can observe that this Bernoulli random variable is observing two value only. Either it is taking value zero or it is taking value one. So suppose when x is taking value zero, then in for that case the probability mass function for at x equal to zero it is defined as probability that x is observing value zero and uh, x is observing value zero. This 
simply we can call it it is an event if you try to look this event into sample space then it is actually then we have to look into pre image what is the pre image of x is observing zero then pre image this one is what it is it talking about tail talking about tail and what is the probability of getting a tail in a, uh, when you toss a coin that probability we denote it by 1 minus p so that's where the value of probability mass function at x equal to 0 is equal to 1 minus p likewise the value of probability mass function at x equal to 1 it means that probability that x is observing value 1 x is observing value 1 means this event is equivalent to uh, say that its pre image is this head and hence we can say that probability that x is of general value 1 is equal to probability of getting head and what is the probability of getting head that we had already taken that as a probability of success and we are saying that it is p so that's where probability of value of probability mass function at x equal to 1 it is taking uh, as p okay so we here x is observing only two value either 0 or 1 if uh, someone is coming with x equal to 2 then if i ask uh, what is the probability of this event x equal to 2 anyone would like to suggest what would be value of probability mass function at 2 in this uh, tossing a coin that means it is just we are defining always we define it through this way so what would be value of this anyone do we observe any value of x equal to 2 here when you toss a coin uh, do you observe anyone no in a single toss you don't observe x equal to 2 so that's where it is what x equal to 2 is equivalent to null set or empty set that means what is the probability of empty set it is zero it is zero that's where if you define probability mass function it is not like that uh, uh, the range of probability mass domain of probability mass function would be only uh, range of the corresponding discrete random variable it would be you can raise it to r continue <coughs> you can raise it to r and that means uh, uh, equivalently you can raise it to uh, the domain of probability mass function would be raised to r to r it, it is a mapping from r to r but problem is that uh, if you are taking any um, observed value from out of the range of the discrete random variable for that case uh, uh, the, that will map to zero so it, that's why we are not uh, taking domain of uh, probability mass function outside uh, range of the discrete random variable we are not taking generally we are just confined to up to this one but you are having freedom you can extend it like this way there is no issue because those value which are not observing by x will map to zero that is the very much that that would map to simply pre image would be impossible event so that's why there is no issue uh, you can raise this uh, domain of this function to r there is no issue otherwise just you can find up to this one this one is material thing meaningful thing to you okay now so we had already seen that p of x is taking value one minus p when x is equal to zero and p of x is taking value p when x equal to one so can we uh, unify this uh, bifurcated result in a single form Yes, we can unify like this way. We can write um, p of x as p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x. So, where x is taking only two possible values, either it will take 0 or 1. So, if, f, if x is taking 0 value, that means p to the power 0 is 1 and into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus 0, that means 1 minus p will come. So, it will when x is taking 0, it will uh, be equal to 1 minus p. When x, that when x is taking 0 here, in this unified notation of the uh, probability mass function of Bernoulli random variable. When x is taking 1, then oh, here p to the power 1 times 1 minus p to the power 0. 1 minus p to the power 0 means 1. So here uh, x equal to 1 will correspond probability p of success. So this one is unified version. That's where you can proceed with this uh, unified notation of the probability mass function for Bernoulli random variable. Uh, now I, I will talk about further uh, that visualization of uh, uh, this uh, probability mass function of uh, Bernoulli random variable. How we can visualize it? So we can visualize like this way uh, with the help of probability of success p would be given here. Uh, p would be probability of success would be means already if you are having a probability uh, Bernoulli random variable then your next question would be that what is the probability of success so one situation we are taking it like this way here simply I am taking that uh, zero correspond to failure that means uh, uh, what is the probability of uh, observing x equal to zero so 
that uh, value of x which uh, we are observing that will take value along horizontal axis and the probability corresponding probability of observing those value will uh, come along vertical axis that p of x simply we can call it so if uh, i'm asking that uh, here uh, uh, from the this bar plot we can easily observe that uh, 1 minus p looks uh, uh, greater than p then tell me what are the possible value of p what is the possible value of p what do we value of p here anyone what is the what whether value of p would be near to unbiased point or or it could be that way uh, it would be near to 0.5 or less than 0.5 or greater than 0.5 anyone what would be value of p if we are observing this situation this visualization what would be just tell me whether p is greater than or less than 1 by 2 anyone no, no, no. Here situation is already given here. Situation is, it's, it looks from the bar plot that 1 minus P is greater than uh, P. So simplify this uh, result to 1 by 1 minus P is greater than P. And if you are simplifying from here, what you will observe? Simply you, you will get the 2P is less than 1. And it simply say that P is less than 1 by 2. That means probability of success would be less than 0.5. That means you are more relying towards getting tail. This coin is more biased towards getting tail. So that that situation is coming. Uh, that situation that that means you are just moving to an origin. That situation is coming here. So it, it is probability is less than 0.5. It is biased towards getting tail. Of, okay, that situation. So from the plot also you can exhibit what would be situation. Now we will talk about uh, next uh, discrete random variable that happens to be binomial random variable. So simply when you perform n number of Bernoulli trial, then in that process uh, we will see that uh, in the n observation or n trial, observation uh, many times I am saying that n trial, uh, uh, if you talk from the uh, value of the random variable perspective then you can talk about observation. So either call it n trials or n observation. Okay observations both are uh, synonymous to each, each other not equal but synonymous to each other you can say that observation so in the in, in that process what we observe that all these n trials all these n observation uh, divided into two uh, group one we are calling k would be uh, success k number of success and if you are having k number of success at the same time we are having uh, n minus k number of failure. So we are having two groups. That means we are having binomial situation. A, a, pro, a collection of all those who falls in success category, we call it uh, group A, and, and those we observation which fall in failure category, that we are calling it n minus k. So simply binomial situation uh, is coming here. Okay. So <coughs> so how we define binomial random variable? So we can define like this way. So we consider a toss uh, a coin is tossed n times. So when we mm, tossing a coin n times then uh, at each toss the coin uh, will come up uh, uh, head with probability p that we will call it probability of success and uh, tail with probability 1 minus p and it would be independent of the prior tosses so, uh, there is no dependency between any two tosses okay uh, it, it, it is very much obvious that okay so so we can here introduce a new random variable that uh, by counting the number of success or number of heads in n toss sequence in toss sequence and we refer this uh, random variable x as a binomial random variable with two parameter one parameter we are calling it number of trials or number of toss and another parameter that we are calling it p probability of su success that one is associated with each trial or each observation so two parameters so in last case we had all this seen that in Bernoulli random variable there was only one parameter p that happens to be probability of success because there was only one trial so that's where only one parameter was there but here we are dealing with n number of trials Bernoulli trials so that's where we are having n number of uh, we are having two parameters one is number of trials another one is uh, probability of success okay so two parameter will be associated with a uh, binomial random variable. So if uh, that is the situation then how we can define probability mass function for uh, this uh, binomial random variable? We can define it like this way. 
uh, it involves that the protein remember that here uh, the Bernoulli random binomial random variable will take value in integral fashion integral that means uh, I it will say either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 5 so it will actually observe value of from uh, starting from 0 to 1 to 2 likewise it will go up to n okay so here we see that uh, these are uh, what uh, it is these are whole number of positive uh, non-negative integers so then also generally in non-negative integer integer we denoted by k so we will not go for notation of x for obje one observe a specific observed value of x we will denote it by k so probability value of probability mass function at x equal to k uh, we can define it like this way it is uh, defined as probability that x is observing value k okay and x is observing value k easily you can see that uh, um, how we can visualize it that means we are in the n tuple n tuple of uh, head and tail in the n tuple of head and tail look suppose take n equal to 2 for better uh, understanding so suppose n equal to 2 and we talk about uh, uh, how many possible outcomes would be there that means 2 to the power 2 outcome would be there total 4 outcome would be there what are those uh, in the sample space you can visualize those those would be uh, head 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 tail tail head tail tail okay so these are the possible outcome uh, when you are tossing a coin twice okay so in that case if i am asking what is the probability of uh, getting or x is observing value x is talking number about number of heads in n toss okay so what is the probability of getting x equal to 1 so x equal to 1 will just uh, it will say that uh, it is uh, there is only one head okay there is only one head x equal to one uh, one head so there are two possibilities either you will uh, there are two outcomes which, which is having exactly one head one is a head tail another one is a tail head so that means uh, uh, you are uh, select here in order to get exactly one head you are uh, there are two possibilities so you are selecting in 2c1 way to see one way so that one is the binomial coefficient to what we do, uh, what we do that means selection of one object out of two uh, without any uh, order so um, without any order so here we can easily see that uh, simply if you uh, we try to find probability of each uh, outcome here so what is the probability of this uh, this anyone would like to say what is the probability of this probability of this one would be p times one minus p each outcome will have the same probability if you x equal to 1 then the corresponding uh, outcome what you will observe in the sample space will uh, have each outcome will have the same probability you can say that uh, exactly one outcome ahead so it uh, it is having probability um, p into 1 minus p likewise th is also having the same probability p into 1 minus p but how many uh, selection we do uh, in this process uh, 2c1 in 2c1 so uh, that means uh, n choose k process is coming n choose k concept is coming if you generalize it to n trial so n choose k times uh, that means uh, there are k number of success x equal to k that means there are k number of success um, k number of uh, head is coming okay so p to the power k times at the same time there are uh, n minus k times of failure okay so 1 minus p to the uh, 1 minus p to the power n minus k is coming so okay so this situation is so this is the uh, probability mass function of binomial random variable where, where k varies from 0 to 1 to up to n so k is talking about that uh, uh, present uh, at present value of x so uh, here when you uh, toss a coin n time then either you will get zero head or other you will get one head or you will you will get two head so one particular value is denoted by K that that notation is coming here okay so uh, further if you try to see that in last class I had already mentioned that being a protein mass function for a discrete random variable you need to uh, come up with three uh, properties what are those properties those properties are first uh, that uh, protein mass function will take value between 0 and 1 0 and 1 it always falls between 0 1 why because protein mass function is defined 
through this formula that probability formula and we know that probability is always between 0 and 1 so that's why due to definition of probability mass function the probability, uh, probability mass function it take value between 0 and 1 because it is defined as a probability okay what was the second property anyone who would like to highlight what was the second probability uh, property of uh, probability mass function so easily you can visualize it would be uh, it will be true because being a probability from the definition it would be uh, first condition is already verified what what was the second condition anyone what you do uh, find the value all the value of protein mass function so i am taking each particular value of x we denoted by k so we sum all the protein mass function for every value of k and this summation would be equal to 1 it would be see this we are calling it normalizing condition so this normalizing condition is also satisfied it's very simple to verify that uh, what you do uh, you sum this uh, this uh, part of uh, uh, probability mass function where k varies from 0 to n where k, because k is taking value from 0 to n so that's where if you simplify this one then this summation is what it is nothing uh, just it, it is equal to 1 who would like to say that y it is equal to 1? Anyone? Anyone would like to recall why it is this summation is equal to 1? Am I audible? If you are listening, try to answer it. Who would like to say that this, this sum is equal to 1 and why it is 1? It is very simple kind of result. Rakesh, do you know why it is 1? Yeah, that one is uh, uh, what uh, directly coming from the random experiment now apart from that uh, don't look random experiment just look it from uh, another perspective that you had already seen in your high school so if you try to see from the another perspective what does it look it is talking about binomial theorem it is just expansion of binomial theorem it is talking about that p uh, we are having two terms p call a and one minus p call it b so it is talking about uh, uh, expansion of binomial theorem that means simply a plus b to the power n it is just expansion of it a plus b to the power n so a what p this so this summation would be a plus b a is equal to p and b equal to 1 minus p to the power n and if you simplify it p will cancel out minus p and finally we will have 1 to the power n and what is 1 to the power n it is equal to 1 so it is directly derived from the binomial theorem Binomial theorem easily you can say that this summation is equal to 1 and hence we'll say, we can say that this uh, probability mass function of binomial random variable is also satisfying normalizing condition and third condition is very much obvious so that it say that if you take any subset uh, subset that means if you take few observed value of x few observed value of x so with respect to this what will happen that uh, uh, for this subset how you can find probability uh, for any subset that means a b is observing not all possible all observed value of x that means not all, not all these value of x okay few few x it is observing in that case it just implies that probability of b we can easily find it out by summing the corresponding uh, in the individual probability mass function for the value that coming uh, that one is coming from the event b So just we have to sum up, we are trying to find probability of B, uh, summing uh, over B, only taking value from B. So it is this is the third, pro third property that we are trying to find probability of B. So just we have to zoom out, what are the observed value of X falls in B, and with respect to that, find out the probability mass function and sum it up. And then you will get the probability of that event easily. Okay. So that expression I had already written here. Now, uh, I will talk about further visualization of uh, the protein mass function uh, of binomial random variable, how we can visualize. And we, we see that here in this case, because it 
deals with n number of trials or n number of observations so automatically what is happening that and there happens to be uh, a skewness a skewness will come so that shifting that uh, some shifting towards uh, origin or shifting towards uh, one so that situation we will uh, we will see it here so some a special case of binomial protein mass function it would be uh, i'm going to describe it here so if you are taking p equal to 0.5 that means the protein of success is 0.5 that means simply we can say that the corresponding protein mass function is symmetric about n by 2 very much symmetric very nice structure you will get that so but what happens if you are having protein uh, less than 0.5 that means uh, it is biased towards tail then in that case we say that the protein mass function is positively skewed if protein of, of success is greater than 0.5 then uh, it would be negatively skewed so, so how we see the, this is the situation of symmetric situation when when we observe symmetric situation when we are having a protein of success equal to exactly equal to 0.5 in that case we are getting a symmetric uh, plot so this kind of symmetric plot what we observe that when uh, uh, p is 0.5 but if p is small then what we observe we observe some askewness so it is askew there is a positive askewness askewness so what does it mean it says simply say that it is having a long right tail positive askew that means there is a long right tail their left tail is smaller and right tail is a uh, little bit uh, longer so simply this we are calling it positive askewness if p is greater than 0.5 uh, then we will have a reverse of this reverse of this we will have this kind of scenario so it would come something like that like this kind of feature so right in left hand side we observe a skewness so this we generally calling it uh, negatively uh, skewed so a skewed situation we will observe then when p is not equal to 0.5 when p is less than or greater than 0.5 we are observing some askewness so these are the plot of uh, various uh, protein mass function of bernoulli random variable okay further visualization we will talk about in sense that uh, with this, always it will come with a protein of success always remember that there would be protein of success with respect to uh, uh, each outcome of a trial so this situation uh, so who, who would like to comment that uh, whether, whether it is positively skewed or negatively skewed anyone why because of just focus focus on the geometry of the pda protein mass function you can see that this uh, this one is having long right tail so that means simply you can say that protein of success would be less than 0.5 if there is a long right tail uh, here left tail is very small it is very, but the right tail is very long so what does it say in simply simply say that uh, it is less than protein of success is less than 0.5 and we can see that it is already given priority of success is 0.3 it is less than 0.5 so that's why we are observing positive skewness and that means right tailed uh, uh, protein mass function now likewise if you observe here what 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 is, what is the situation here situation is like that you can easily observe that it is uh, uh, a skewed uh, negatively a skewed that means it is having long left tail and right tail is shorter okay so that's why why because your protein of success is greater than 0.5 it is biased towards head getting it but bias towards getting it so that is the situation so various askewness situation you will observe based on protein of success so protein of success is very much essential to understand and it, it just uh, provide the look of the protein mass function you need to know what the your next when someone is saying that uh, we are having a binomial distribution uh, binomial random variable next question would be what is the property of success okay then you count number of trials how many number of trials you are taking so as much as uh, you take uh, trials uh, your density will increase your protein mass function that it, it becomes more 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 closer and closer okay okay so due to that uh, you will see a dense environment okay now next we will discuss about geometric random variable again i told that uh, it is directly dealing with uh, <clears throat> total number of trials till uh, number of trials till you get first success so it is one kind of thing that uh, 
pop in ball is, 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 is take a ball and leave it so what, what would be the path of that ball uh, bounce bounce of that ball so uh, at the first bounce it will have maximum height after the second bounce it will reduce by 50 percent so it depends upon what environment is, is there so some geometric situation you will see it here so keep on decreasing the bounce keep, will keep on decreasing that geometric situation you will observe that same situation is coming here like this way then we uh, uh, in order to get first uh, toss uh, first head first success either you will get in first uh, trial or you may get in second or you may get in third or you may get you may take uh, you may take various trial you may take depends upon that in, in if you are just focusing on first uh, success or first head so in that uh, process what random variable we will get that that one is having a geometrical view a geometrical progression type of uh, protein density mass function so that's why we are calling it geometrical random variable so we define it like this way so suppose we are uh, repeatedly and independently tossing a bias coin. So remember that we are tossing a bias coin with probability of getting head P. If P is given 0.5, it would be unbiased. But if P is just, it is, it is mentioned P and P is any value between 0 to 1, then we simply, we can say that that coin would be a bias coin. So if you're tossing a coin uh, repeatedly and independent way, so then if you're counting the number of tosses needed to uh, get the first head first time head then we refer this x as a geometric random variable with parameter p p there is again a single parameter here uh, here the number of tosses itself variable so that one is defining the random variable so that's why n would not come here because uh, that one is itself so x what are the possible value of x anyone would like to say that what is the first value? So it is possible that uh, what is the minimum value of x that that one is possible? Anyone? If you're tossing a coin till first head, then what is the minimum value of x? X is talking about number of toss. Anyone? Whether zero would be a, a, a x will observe zero or not? Anyone just try to answer it definitely x will not observe zero x will observe one or two that means is it possible uh, we will get uh, first head in the first uh, uh, toss itself uh, otherwise if we, we are not getting first head in the first toss we will go for second toss so that's why uh, x is observing two value if we are not getting head first head in the first two toss then we will look for third toss so that's why third x is also observing 3 likewise x is observing 4 5 6 and it will go up to infinity like this way so this is these are the observed value of x that uh, x is observing in the process of getting first toss uh, first hit okay so if x so again these are what again these are uh, natural numbers or uh, integers simply you can say that positive integers so we can each a specific or particular value of x that we are observing we can denote it by either x but here these are natural number so we can take a specific notation k so with respect to that we are defining protein mass function of this geometric random variable as uh, how we define it that protein mass function at x, k it, it will define as protein that x is observing value equal to k so that means uh, we got uh, uh, x equal to k it is saying that we got first head in k number of trials when when we perform k number of trials that time we got um, uh, first head in exactly at uh, so like case trial exactly as case trial so that means in first trial we got what tail in second trial we got tail in the likewise in k minus 1 trial we got tail and exactly at k trial we got heads so what is the probability of this one so this x is observing equal to k is equivalent to uh, this event t t t t up to uh, k minus 1 we will observe t and at exactly k uh, trial we will observe x so it is equivalent to this outcome and hence we can say that probability of uh, that x is observing value equal to k is what we can write it like this way it is talking about probability of getting tail in first k minus 1 trial so that's why we are writing 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 times exactly at k trial we are getting head so that's why that one is the probability of 
P. Probability of getting head, that one is P. So that's why this is the probability mass function for this symmetric random variable. Here K is observing value uh, from 1 onward. Okay. Any, any question here? I don't think. So here we can easily observe that since 1 minus P to the power K minus 1 uh, time P, it is the probability of sequence uh, that one is consisting K minus 1 uh, successive tail or successive failure followed by a success or head. Head that getting head we are calling it success. So that's why we are defining like this way. So easily we can say that what does it talk about? What kind of uh, progression or sequence it is? Anyone? Anyone? What kind of sequence this one? Anyone just uh, highlight it? It is not good that uh, you are being silent here. If you not try to answer, if you are not answering that, that means simply you don't know. It is geometric, geometric in nature. Simply you can say that uh, you can replace 1 minus p as r, r to the power k minus 1 and k is your variable. So definitely we can say that uh, it is just r to the power k minus 1 is coming and p is what? That one is probability of success, uh, uh, that one is parameter, it is already uh, system dependent okay so simply we can say that r to the power k minus 1 we can say that it is a geometric sequence or geometric progression what we call it so that's why we are calling the corresponding random variable is a geometric random variable now again if you will talk about uh, uh, does it satisfy all the properties of being a probability mass function definitely because again from the definition easily first property you can verify it from here itself that this uh, yeah, and this probability mass function it is defined as probability that x is observing equal to k so it is a probability so our probability is always taking value between 0 and 1 so easily from there we can conclude that uh, px of k it will take value between 0 and 1 okay the so first property is already verified we will look for second property what does it talk about that one is normalizing property that means we have to sum the um, sum the all the probability mass function for each value of k each value of k vary for it is varying from 1 to infinity and that summation will lead towards equal to 1 anyone know how summation would be equal to 1 anyone how you can find summation of this one would be equal to 1 Vishal tell me how sir, that sum of that series is equal to 1 Series concept might be clear to you now. If you are not responding, I am just removing you. Uh, you want to get attendance. Any other? Harshit? Harshit Misra, would you like to uh, say that? How some of that would be equal to us? Yes? Just try to answer it. What would be uh, why it's, this sum is equal to 1? It is very much simple. If you are unable to uh, answer this simple thing, then how you can answer complicated one? It is just geometric series. Geometric. So simply it is geometric in nature. Yeah. So P is constant. It will come out from the sum P times what it would be 1 minus 1 1 by 1 minus r and what is r here r is equal to 1 minus p and we know that 1 minus p is less than 1 1 minus p and uh, geometric series is converging to 1 by 1 minus r when uh, r is less than 1 or modulus of r is less than 1 so that so also this quantity is greater than 0 as well r is greater than 0 and less than 1 and hence that's why this summation is uh, this series is converging to p into 1 by 1 by 1 minus r and if you simplify then what you will get you will get equal to 1 
you are getting one so that's why sum of this series is equal to one and uh, that one is verifying normalizing property of this uh, property mass function and third one is very obvious that uh, if you come up with one uh, event b then you can easily find probability of b by summing the probability of uh, respective uh, protein mass value of uh, x which is uh, observing within b so by summing the probability value of protein mass function for all those k which are in b so through this you can calculate so it is one uh, one kind of calculation of probability of a given event what event of interest it would be so summation i had already expressed here so calculation you can see it like this way so we can interpret the geometric random variable in term of repeated independent trial until first success simply we can say that it is talking about count observing first success so uh, counting number of trials till first success okay and each trial is having probability of success p and if you try to geometrically visualize uh, the protein mass function you can observe like this way so easily you can see the see geometric form so you can see that geometric form that uh, uh, what i discussed about that uh, bouncing ball if you bounce a ball then definitely that would have a geometric situation so it will go and finally die down and there would be uh, no oscillation finally die down okay, okay. So that situation is coming here so that is the scenario of geometric random variable okay other thing we will discuss in next class pascal random variable and pascal it is very much simple that uh, uh, also it is defined from the perspective of binomial random variable how it is defined we can just uh, have a look over this uh, like uh, suppose we uh, toss a coin until we observe m number of heads m number of heads okay then if we uh, we are tossing a coin until so it is just generalization of what we call it last uh, geometric random variable in geometric random variable we are talking about uh, first success number of we are counting uh, number of trial till first success in pascal we are, what we are we are counting of number of trial till m success so that is the generalization you can say, say that pascal random variable so here uh, x would be again it would be uh, total number of trial total number of trial or total number of observation you can say that x again it is the similar random, random variable like uh, geometric random variable but difference is that here we are dealing with pm success we are not dealing with exactly one success we are dealing with uh, m success so how we can uh, find the probability mass function of this one so to find the probability of, of the event x equal to k that means in the k number of trials we are observing m number of uh, success in k number of trial we are observing m number of success so this we can equivalently bifurcate it into two part uh, as, as a joint occurrence that means uh, m minus one success we have observed in first k minus one trial and exactly at k trial we are observing a success so that means total success are what k in uh, total sorry total success uh, are how many m success in k trial so that so that's where this has been divided into in this way so property of property mass function for this uh, would be very easy to find so we can find it like this way uh, we are observing this one m minus one success in k minus one trial so that happens in binomial fashion that happens in binomial fashion so it is directly coming from binomial uh, distribution and exactly at the k trial we are observing one success now what is the probability of one success that one is p so the overall uh, joint probability this this joint probability would be the desired probability mass function for uh, x equal equal to k that uh, x is observing equal to k and if you further simplify then it is taking like this form and this representation we are calling it pascal representation and it is a pascal distribution also probability mass function of pascal distribution so here uh, what are the possible value of k so k will take value m onward that means we are observing m number of heads okay we have to keep on doing trial till uh, we are getting m number of heads so definitely k would take value uh, m onward m onward so this is one pascal distribution other thing we will discuss in next class